Metro health inspectors are giving A's to restaurants that did not earn the grade. The information we uncovered might make you think twice about the letter you see on a restaurant's door. Fox 41's Julie Tam exposes incorrect scores and confronts the health department about them in tonight's special assignment report. These A's should have been a B and a C. We uncovered mistake after mistake made by the Metro Health Department. Here's one. Martini Italian Bistro in the Summit got a C in December because a health inspector found violations like dirty equipment and no hot water in the restrooms. The inspector came back the next day and gave Martini an A for correcting some of the violations. That A should have been a B. Here's why. The health department's own policy says any facility that has a fail-pass history will not earn an A card until two successive A-level scores are attained. Guess what? Martini has a fail-pass history. That means it failed two prior unannounced inspections, but passed with an A only after getting a chance to fix some of its problems. As a father of two, I started thinking, well, what about my kids' favorite restaurants and what about my favorite restaurant? Mark Ullman is also a food safety consultant. He started asking questions and so did we. Why haven't you gone out to actually change those placards from the A back to the, the B that they should be? Administratively, we decided not to do that. We had made the mistake internally and the, the uh, decision was that we would not go back and post the B placard for those facilities. Why? Supervisor Matt Rhodes says the health department just would not make the same mistake next time. I'd hope that the health department's primary obligation would be to the dining public. Austin's restaurant near Holiday Manor Shopping Center has an A posted just inside the front door. But back in March, an inspector came and gave the restaurant a C for things like dirty utensils and dirty ice machines. Just one day later, the inspector came back and gave the restaurant an A and according to its own rules, the inspector should have kept the C up for at least one week. Austin's also has a fail pass history of C's two inspections in a row. It's the same story at Shaw's Mongolian Grill in the Stony Brook Shopping Center. The restaurant has routinely failed inspections. Customers of Fiesta Mexicana near Fern Creek had just three days instead of one week to see a C posted on the door. The inspector replaced the C with an A four days too soon. And customers of Double Dragon in the Hurstbourne area had only one day to see the C the restaurant got in September before an inspector replaced it with an A. But the health department has caught some of its other shortfalls and changed those other policies. For example, Waffle House on Bishop Lane got a score of 58 and a C letter grade, then an A on the inspector's follow-up visit. We decided that those facilities didn't deserve to post an A, so we changed that policy in October of 07. From now on, restaurants that fail with a score below 60 won't get an A, even if they're perfect on a follow-up inspection. Obviously, there are um, situations where we make errors, and, and we're open to critique. And, and we take those uh, critiques into account, and we've uh, continued to develop quality assurance processes so that we can look at what we're doing on a daily basis and then improve and uh, progress within our food hygiene program. In Louisville, Julie Tam, Fox 41 News. The Metro Health inspectors do more than 8,700 inspections a year on more than 3,600 businesses that sell food. Those include restaurants, convenience stores, and school cafeterias. So the department says mistakes are bound to happen. Well, the Metro Health Department is under closer scrutiny tonight. That's after a Fox 41 investigation uncovered incorrect restaurant ratings. Metro Council now wants to make sure you're getting the right information to decide where to eat. Fox 41's Julie Tam joins us now with the steps council members want to take. Julie. Well, one week ago we showed you restaurants where health inspectors posted an A and they were supposed to post either a B or a C. Well, today Metro Council took some initial steps to address those and other mistakes made by the health department. The Metro Health Department has acknowledged it gave a number of restaurants incorrect letter grades. Health inspectors posted A's instead of B's, and they took down C placards too soon and replaced them with A's. None of the errors that have been identified 
were intentional. The health department's deputy director faced Metro Council members Wednesday afternoon. I know mistakes can be made. I understand that. But if this is the business that you're in, what safeguards are in place? We have an electronic system. Every morning, the inspector can look up there and see what is due for, for inspection. Food safety consultant Mark Ullman has caught the health department forgetting to do an inspection, and he's found hundreds of restaurants overdue for inspections. The state requires the health department to inspect every restaurant every six months. We cannot meet that standard at this time. He is correct. We are always behind by some extent. Uh, but we are improving and increasing the number of facilities receiving their two inspections. As in two inspections per year. Uh, I'm enthused to know that some of the council members are concerned that there are errors. One change Councilwoman Mary yes, Woolridge proposed is for health inspectors to put a date on each placard so people can see how old the restaurant rating is. Hopefully we're going to have the health and wellness department at our meetings, at our committee meetings, more often, we probably will ask them to come at least quarterly because we do need to stay on top of restaurant inspections. Now everyone at today's meeting can agree that the health department could always use more staffing to do a better job, but with the mayor's hiring freeze, the health department is going to have to improve with what they have for now. In the newsroom, Julie Tam, Fox 41 News. A Fox 41 investigation uncovers more wrong restaurant inspection scores nine months after we first told you about similar problems. Fox 41's Julie Tam exposes the Metro Health Department's latest blunders in this Fox follow-up. If it's not an A, we don't go. That's how some people feel about seeing a B on a restaurant's door. Both Austin's restaurant on Highway 42, just outside the Waterson, and Martini Italian Bistro in the Summit should have a B on their doors. That's according to the Metro Health Department's own written policy. However, both restaurants got an A on their most recent inspection. Wow. Uh, that concerns me. Uh, uh, because I, I, I want to think the health department is doing everything they need to protect the, the public. But it appears the health department is protecting the two restaurants instead. Both restaurants have plenty of customers and a history of health violations. During Austin's most recent regular inspection, the inspector found falling insulation above the fryers, raw meats and seafood stored with prepared foods, dirty salad coolers, cloths not rinsed frequently in water sanitizing solution, unsanitary towels on clean dishes, and other violations. At Martini, the inspector found dirty bulk food bins and shelves in the region coolers that were chipping. Both restaurants failed their unannounced inspections twice in a row, and only after having time to clean up did they pass the follow-up inspection. Because of their fail-pass history, the highest score the restaurants should have gotten, according to health department policy, is a B, not an A. The health department has 12 inspectors who check more than 3,500 restaurants twice a year. But in these two incidents, health inspectors again ignored the restaurant's fail-pass history. But that means that you're not considering any past history. You're starting fresh with a clean slate like they have no past. That, that is correct. We're going forward with that facility, yes. But wouldn't you think that's unfair to restaurants who have to post their B for several months until their next inspection? I don't. And they're competing against a restaurant who gets a free pass, basically. They well, don't have to post the B, they just have to post the well, A. Well, I'm not sure that they're getting a free pass. Uh, there was quite a bit of publicity made at the time that we had the previous conversation. In January, we uncovered that the health department made similar mistakes in the restaurant's favor. Because those mistakes were made by inspectors, the department has chosen to ignore the restaurant's pass. After our story aired in January, Metro Council's Health and Human Needs Committee questioned the health department about its mistakes. We probably will ask them to come at least quarterly because we do need to stay on top of restaurant inspections. The council committee had not revisited the restaurant inspections issue until this past Wednesday after we brought our new findings to their attention. Boy, that scares me a little bit. It's unacceptable. I mean, we cannot bend the rules for certain restaurants. A spokesperson for Martini Italian Bistro responded to our findings with this statement. Regardless of the scoring system used, our commitment to food safety is of paramount importance. 
Austin's general manager declined to be interviewed on camera, but also offered a statement. Until Ms. Tam informed us of this story, we had no knowledge that the health department apparently did not follow its own regulations. The Metro Council Health and Human Needs Committee plans to keep tabs on the health department in the coming months. Meanwhile, if you want to know which five restaurants scored the lowest C grades during the month of October, go to fox41.com and look for the story titled, Lowest Restaurant Scores. Julie Tam, Fox 41 News.